Hello, students. Welcome to the new lecture class, lecture session. Myself, Shankar Ghosh, Assistant Professor of Automobile Engineering Department at Dr. Shruti Chandra Shruti Degree Engineering College under the JIS group. Today, we will discuss the new topics of modern vehicle technology. This is the seventh semester October Yanni students subject. <coughs> Today we will discuss on EBS or anti lock braking system. This is the subtopics of model number 2, which is known as the suspension, brakes, and safety. So, here the objects of, of this ABS are that you can understand what is ABS, how it works, and what component it helps to work and its types and also its advantage and disadvantage. So after the learning this ABS, the students will be understand easily the various components those are helping this braking system. How many types of ABS systems and their working principle. So students, let's start the today's class on ABS or the anti-lock braking systems. An anti-lock braking system is a safety anti-skid braking system which is basically used on aircraft and on low land vehicle such as cars, motorcycles, trucks and buses. ABS operates by preventing the vehicle from locking up during braking, thereby maintaining tractive contact with the road surface. The ABS is an automated system that uses the principle of threshold braking and cadence braking. The techniques which were once practiced by skillful drivers before ABS was widespread. ABS operates at a much faster rate and more effectively than most drivers should manage, could manage. Although ABS generally offers improved vehicle control and decreases stopping distance on dry and some slippery surface. On loose gravel or snow covered surface, ABS may significantly increase braking distance while still improving steering control, while still improving the steering control. Since 
ABS was introduced in the production wheel vehicle, such systems have been increasingly sophisticated and effective. Modern version may or may not only prevent wheel lock under the braking system, but may also alter the front to rear brake bias. This later function depending on its specific capabilities and implementation. So students, basically anti-lock braking system is an electromagnetic system which monitor and control the skidding of the vehicle during braking or can say prevents the wheels from locking while the braking. ABS allows the driver to maintain steering control while braking and shorten the braking distance on slippery surfaces like wet surfaces or icy surfaces. But it increases the stopping distance, but it increases the stopping distance in simple surface. Anti-lock braking systems on any vehicle is simply an additional monitoring and controlling function supreme post on the existing vehicle brake system. ABS is neither a second brake system nor replace the vehicle brake system. It is a hard real-time system. It handles all events, even in roast case, in given time constant. This is anti-lock ABS system, AB anti-lock braking system or ABS system where braking pressure is actuated, the braking pressure is actuated more than 15 times or near to 15 times the per second, which is quite impossible for a pedometer to reach this for a skilled driver. The concept of ABS, the concept of ABS predates the modern system that were introduced in the year of 1950. In 1908, for example, J.E. Francis introduced his sleep prevention regular for the rail vehicle. In 1920, the French automobile and the so the this French automobile and the aircraft pioneer Gabriel Voisin experimented the system that modulate the hydraulic braking pressure on his aircraft brake to reduce the risk of tire slippage. This system used a flywheel and valve attached to a hydraulic line. That feeds the brake cylinder. 
the flywheel is attached to a drum that runs at the same speed as the wheel in normal braking the drum and the flywheel should spin at the same speed however when a wheel slow down or when a wheel slow down then the drum would to do the same leaving the flywheel spinning at a faster rate this cause the valve to open and allow a small amount of brake fluid to bypass the master cylinder into the local reservoir lowering the pressure on the cylinder and the releasing brake the use of the drum and the flywheel mean the valve only open when the flywheel on the wheel was turning in testing a 30% improvement in braking performance was noted because the pilots immediately apply the full brake instead of slowly increasing pressure in order to kind the skip point an additional benefit was the eliminate of burn or the brushed tire the first proper recognition of abs system so the first proper recognition of the abs systems came later with the german engineer karl wessel those system for modulating braking power was officially patent in 1928 however wessel never developed a working product or neither did robert boss who produced a similar patent the 8 years later so by the early of 1950s so by the early of 1950s the dunlop maxret anti skid system was in widespread aviation use in the uk with aircraft in 1950 by 8 in the year of 1958 a royal enfield super meteor motorcycle was used by the road research laboratory to test the maxret anti lock brake and the experiment demonstrated the anti lock brakes can be of great value to motorcycles for which skidding is involving in a higher portion so a higher proportion of accident and stopping distance were reduced in most of the tests compared with locked wheel braking particularly on slippery surface in which the improvement could be as much as 30% enfield's technical director at the time tony wilson john so little future in the system however and it was not put into the production by the company a fully mechanical system so limited automobile used in the 1960s in the ferguson p99 racing car the jensen ff and the experimental all wheel drive ford zodia but so no further use the system provide expensive and unreliable the first fully electronic anti lock system was developed in the late of, in the late of 1960s 
for the Concorde aircraft. So students, these are the introduction of this ABS. And here are the picture, this the picture. This is the this is the symbol of ABS, which can be easily seen in the in our four wheeler or in our two wheeler dashboard. In a two wheeler dash or four wheeler dashboard, if we see these lights on or this type of symbol, it means the vehicle is in uh, the vehicle have anti-lock braking system which is help to stop or to skidding on the way on the slippery surface on the slippery surface the roads now comes the braking system so so this now this was the braking system. In an automobile system, the brakes are actuated by hydraulic pressure. Mm -hmm. The brakes are actually actuated by the hydraulic pressure. In simple braking system, in a simple braking system, applied force by pressing the brake pedal. Applying force by pressing the brake pedal simply transmit to the wheel through incompressible fluid in a simple mm -hmm. braking system system applied force by pressing the brake pedal applied force is applied then force is applied by the pressing the brake pedal and simply transmit to the wheel through the incompressible fluid but a simple force but a simple force applied by human seems to be difficult to stop a huge running vehicle but a simple force applied by human seems to be difficult to stop a huge running vehicle that's why multiplication of apply force are required so that to multiply the applied force a hydraulic system is used students just one more thing one thing again a simple force a simple force which was applied by pressing the brake pedal cannot stop a huge running vehicle to stop a huge running vehicle, we need the multiple of the applied force. For this multiple the applied force, the hydraulic system is used. Hydraulic system contains glass cylinders. The hydraulic system contains glass cylinders filled with the oil and connected to an other with an oil filled pipe. Hydraulic system contains glass cylinder. The hydraulic system contains a glass cylinder which is filled with the oil and connected to another with an oil filled pipe. If we apply a downward force, if we apply a downward force to open piston then the force then the force is transmitted to another piston in the pipe through the in incompressible oil if we apply a downward force if we apply a downward force to open piston to one piston then the force is transmitted then the force is transmitted force is transmitted to the another piston in the pipe through the through this incompressible oil the hydraulic system makes force multiplication the hydraulic system 
make force multiplication by changing the size of each cylinder and piston related to other so students these are the basics of the braking systems now comes to the need of abs why abs is or anti lock braking system is required why hard brake is applied while hard brake is applied to stop the vehicle while hard brake hard brake is applied to stop the vehicle then friction of brakes then the friction of brakes lock the wheel solidly and contact between wheel and road losses and the wheel start skidding across the road while hard brake is applied while hard brake is applied to stop the vehicle then the friction of the then due to the friction of the brakes lock the wheel solidly and contact between the wheel and road losses then wheel start skidding across the road if if traction between wheel and the road goes down the traction between the wheel and the road goes down in the cases with surface heat wet and the ice basically in the during the slippery slippery surface the traction between the wheel and the road goes down then wheel could slip and resulting in longer stopping distance just because of the wet or slippery surface just because of the slippery surface the traction between the wheel and road goes down and that's why the wheel could slip and the resulting in longer stopping distance is require driver apply brake forcefully and then try to use steer but the steering does not work because all the wheels are locked up while driver is holding down the brake pedal as a result he or she lose the ability to steer the vehicle means if the driver if the driver apply the brake when the driver when driver apply brake forcefully to stop or to to stop or to reduce the vehicle speed speed then they try to use the steer but the steering does not work because of because all the wheels are locked up due to the driver is holding down the brake pad forcefully so as a result he or she lose the ability to steer the vehicle to overcome these problems to overcome these problems this new electronic system to overcome this problem the new electronic system abs is invented so students the abs is need because of it is used it is helps to prevent the skidding of even the skidding the wheel to skidding the vehicle number 1 number 2 is it is used to stop the vehicle the shortest distance and number 3 it is used to control the steering 
and to the steering and it is used to stop the vehicle lock during the braking so that is that is why the abs is required now comes to the components the different components of the ABS or anti lock braking systems. In this picture, we can see the various types of components. Like this is the wheel speed sensor, this is the tooth sensor ring, this is the wheel speed sensor, this is the electronic control unit or ECU. This is, the, this is the this is the hydraulic modulator this is vacuum booster this is the brake pedal this is the master cylinder with the proportional valve and this the the wearing from the ECU which is connected which is connected with the wheel speed sensors so as you can see in this from this picture the issue has four channel these are those are the connected the each of each wheel speed sensor to the electronic control unit and one is connected to the and, and another portion is connected with to the hydraulic modulator and this hydraulic modulator has a four channel those are, are so the hydraulic lines goes to the each of the wheels and this hydraulic modulator which is connected with this master cylinder and the master cylinder connected with the vacuum booster and vacuum booster is operated by the brake pedal so students the main components of the abs are wheel speed sensor electronic control sensor control unit or ecu hydraulic control unit and the valve so let's start with the wheel speed sensor The wheel speed sensor is used to determine the acceleration or deacceleration of the wheel. This sensor uses a magnet and a half effect and sorry and a hall effect sensor or a toothed wheel and an electromagnetic coil to generate a signal the rotation of the wheel the rotation of the wheel or differential includes included a magnetic field around the sensor the fluctuations of this magnetic field the fluctuations of this magnetic field generate a voltage in the sensor since the voltage induced in the sensor is a result of rotating wheel this sensor can become inaccurate at slow speed the slower rotation of the wheel can cause inaccurate in fluctuation in the magnetic field and this cause inaccurate reading of the controller so students electromagnetic device is conjunction with a rotating to the wheel the constantly monitor wheel performance it transmits the information to the issue after 
particular interval of the time so as you can see in this picture this is the abs reluctor spin this is the wheel speed sensor and this is the the pipe or hose which is connected to the electronic controller ec next is ECU or electronic control unit a microcomputer that function as the brain of the abs system a microcomputer that function as a brain of the abs system the ecu the electronic control unit ecu receives wheel performance data collect uh, receive the wheel performance data from each wheel speed sensor then the flywheel is try to lock the issue deliver comments when the wheels try to lock the issue delivers the comments to the hydraulic valve comments to the hydraulic valve to control the brake pressure so student basically issue has an input signal and the output signal if you get the input signal from each of the vehicle speed sensor and its output signals is goes to the hydraulic valve to control the brake pressure while the wheel try to lock next is hydraulic control the hydraulic control unit is similar to the electronic control unit it has it has it receives the signal it receives the signals from the ecu to apply or release the brakes under the anti lock condition the hydraulic control unit control the brakes hydraulic control unit control the brakes by increasing the hydraulic pressure or bypassing the pedal force to reduce the braking power so students hydraulic control unit is similar to the electronic control unit did in the working nature this hydraulic control unit or hcu has two parts one is input and another is output the input signal receives the hydraulic control unit receives the input signals from the ecu or electronic control unit and and it output signal goes to the hydraulic pressure pressure or bypassing the pedal force to reduce the braking power next is valve control valve that are actuated by the electronically control unit or ec to ensure each wheel is optimally braked depending on the control signal from the is it increases pressure at the affected wheel and thus increasing the braking force at the affected wheel decreasing the pressure at the affected wheel thus reducing the braking force affected the wheel means when pressure is increases when pressure is increases due to the wheel that's why braking force will be increases when the pressure is decreases the braking force will be reduces so students the valve there is a valve in the brake line of each brake controller by the ABS on some times the valve has 
p position in position 1 the valve is open pressure from the master cylinder the pressure from the master cylinder is passed through to the brake to the brake in position 2 the valve block the line isolating that brake from the master cylinder this prevents the pressure from rising further should the driver push the brake pedal harder and in position 3 the valve releases some of the pressure from the brake the majority of problem with the valve system occur due to the clogged valve when a valve is clogged it is unable to open close or charge the position an inoperable valve will prevent the system from modulating the valve and controlling pressure supply to the brakes this is the valve now comes to the working principle when the brakes are applied fluid is forced from the master cylinder to the hydraulic control unit then hydraulic control unit inlet in inlet port with the help of to open the solenoid valve that connected to the hydraulic control unit then through the outlet port of hydraulic control unit to the each wheel the rear part of the master cylinder feed the front brakes and vice versa after the fluid is inserted in each wheel the wheel starts locking up when the control module senses that the wheel is going to lock up it closes the normally it closes the normally open solenoid valves for that wheel the anti lock brakes control module then looks at anti lock braking sensor signal from the affected wheel once the affected wheel comes break back up to the speed then the control module return the solenoid valve to their normal condition once the affected wheel comes back up back back comes back up to the speed then the control module return the solenoid valve to their normal condition so students there are basically four types of abs system what are them they are four x channel abs three channel abs two channel abs and the one channel abs So let's start with this four channel ABS. This scheme is employed in most of the modern cars like Ferrari's California T. In this scheme, all the four wheels have their own individual speed sensor and the valves. This gives the best result as all the four wheels can be controlled individually, which ensure the maximum. breaking force as you see in this picture these are the four wheels this is the left hand side front right hand side front this is the left hand side rear and this is the right hand right hand side rear so every four wheels has individual channel which is connected to the abs system so that is why this is called known as the fourth channel abs next is three channel abs three channel comes with two combination one is three channel with four sensor and the other one with three channel and three sensor in three channel in three channel and four sensor scheme along with the four sensors on the each wheel there is separate valve 
for each of the front wheels and a common valve for the rear wheels and the three channel and three sensor scheme is mostly employed in pickup truck there are individual sensor and valves for both the front wheel with a common valve and sensor for a both of a rear wheel so as you can see this picture left hand side front left hand side rear uh, right hand side front in two wheels have two individual speed sensor individual channel with a two wheel sensor and and the rear side left hand side and the rear side side both are has two different sense speed sensor but both are connected with the one channel that is why from the rear side the one and front side the two so total is three that's why this is this ab system is known as the three channel abs the system works with the four sensor the the two valves two valves it uses a speed sensor each wheel with one control valve for both of the front wheels and the other of the rear wheel so as we can see the in this picture the front wheel left hand side right hand side and the rear left, left hand side and right hand side in this four wheels have their four sensor but front two sensors are connected with the one control valve and the rear two sensors are connected with the one rear valve and this two rear two control valve is connected with this abs system that is why this is this abs system is known as the two channel abs next is one channel abs this system is found on pickup truck which use the rear wheel abs it has one valve and one sensor for both of the rear wheels this system is not very effective because as there is a possibility that one of the rear wheel lock up and reducing the effectiveness of the brakes so in this picture picture front wheel drive front wheels are has no speed sensor and no control valve those are connected with the abs so the only rear wheels have the speed sensor and the control and, and for the rear wheel uh, speed sensor have the one control valve which is connected with the abs so that is why this system is known as the one channel abs now comes to the advantages abs will not decrease the vehicle stopping distance compared to an individual vehicle without abs it ensures that the shortest distance in which a vehicle can be through good can be can be brought brought to rest is achieved it is particularly effect in doing this on surface which are wet or icy upon which a vehicle is much more likely to skid the main benefit of abs is the control that a driver has over the vehicle's steering in any emergency the driver of a vehicle equipped with the abs who will have a better chance of steering around the obstacle due to the reduce the risk of skidding so these are the advantages now comes to the disadvantages increasing increase the braking distance under some limitation circumstances snow gravel soft surfaces creation of a false sense of security among driver who do not understand the operation and the limitation of the abs the anti lock brakes are more sensitive on the damper condition the influence of the bone component 
on the performance of the vehicle with anti lock brakes is more significant than without anti lock brakes the stopping distance with a defective shocks is by meters so students this is the anti lock braking system as i told in the starting of this lecture session we are learning from this section that different types uh, abs is working nature it's got different components and it's various types of abs system so after completing this lecture now we can understand the abs system its working principle what are the components are used for this abs system and what are the various types of abs systems and its advantage and disadvantages so thank you class thank you so much uh, next lecture next topic we will discuss on the next lecture session so still then stay at home and stay safe thank you thank you so much